Number 59. The carbonate ion concentration is gradually increased in a solution containing divalent cations of magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and manganese. Which of the following carbonates will form first? And then which of the following will form last and then explain? Okay, well, there's two ways that we could do it, right? We could do the math for all of these and then pick out from the lowest to the highest number which one would form first or which one would form last, but there's an easy way to do this. Now, there is an easier way because if I look at all of these carbonates, right, MgCO3, CaCO3, SrCO3, BaCO3, MnCO3, for all of these, you only have one of the metal and you have only one carbonate. Remember that carbonate, maybe I'll just put that up here, carbonate is CO3, right, with the two minus charge. But when you make a compound, the two minus goes away. But we only have one carbonate for all of these. So we have the same amount of ions that will be produced from A all the way down to E. So in order to find out which one will form first and which one will form last, since they all form the same amount of ions, in this case, they'll form two ions for every single one of them, we could just look at the KSPs. Now, just know that if your KSP is the lowest, right? Remember, think, off, uh, think on a number line. You got to hit low numbers first before you go to higher numbers. So the lowest KSP is always going to be the one that will form first. Then as you keep going up and up and up and up and up on the number line, right? The KSP that is the highest value, that will always form last. But we can only do this if what we're trying to compare has the same number of ions. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look through my KSP values and always look at your exponents first, right? Don't even bother looking at the numbers first. Now, in this case, we just have to find out which one is the lowest and which one is the highest. Well, between a negative eight, negative seven, negative nine, negative five, and negative nine, a negative nine is the lowest out of these five numbers. But since now we're dealing with negative nine and negative nine, that's when we look at the numbers in the front. So now I'm going to compare a 3.9 versus a 5.1. And the lowest number possible is going to be the one that forms first. And in this case, a 3.9 beats out a 5.1. 3.9 is lower than 5.1. So in this case, the compound or the carbonate that will form first is the strontium one, SrCO3. So I will box that one off. And now for the highest one, we just have to pick the highest value. So negative eight, negative seven, or negative five, which one of those is the highest number? Negative five is the highest. So the compound that will form last has the highest KSP, that's BaCO3. And those are your two answers. There you go. And then for the explanation, you could go through that they all form the same amount of ions, so we could just look at the KSP values, and then from there, just take the highest to the lowest. All right? Pretty simple. What'd you think? I really hope this is helping you out. If you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much, and I will be looking forward to helping you in new questions later on. Okay. Bye-bye.